a pleasure to, to work with these remarkable people. And now it's time to bring to our stage the incredible musical poetical act of Rusty Rebar and his stalwart companions. I just met him five minutes ago. Enola Gay. You know, that's Enola the airplane. May. Enola, Enola May. And. Uh, oh, God damn it. <laughs> and God damn it, Johnny. God damn it, Johnny. And we are happy to welcome them here to our stage. And now let the rest speak for itself. All right, this is a this is a cover poem. I didn't write this one. This is about the moon. How appropriate. <laughs> First, the fat man or the banjo player when they fall out of the plane. Stop tunes first. Well, for oh, the Holocaust. I thought that was the beginning of the poem. I was just like. <laughs> well, the, the fat man always hits the ground first because the banjo player has to stop in tune. Oh. Ah, that's pretty good. You got any more? Like you stole it from me. I told you oh, too much about the flowers. Yeah, I do remember something in common here. We we. It's the moisture in this room, you know? It's the love. That's love moisture. It's moist. And maybe we should just go with just the violin. <laughs> Actually, though, we can work out the kinks. So there we go. Here we go. This is it. To the Moon by Sosolo. Move tirelessly. Do not hang your head. Scatter the mist of the clouds. The Lord's providence is great. Gently smile at the earth stretched out beneath you. Sing a lullaby to the glacier down from the heavens, know for certain that once struck down to the ground an oppressed man strives again to reach the pure mountain when exalted by hope. So lovely moon as before, glimmer through the clouds, pleasantly in the azure vault, make your beams play, but I shall undo my vest and thrust out my chest to the moon. With outstretched arms, I shall revere the spreader of light upon the earth. Anybody know who Sosolo, uh, he, he had another more famous pin name later in his career. He wrote that at the monastery as a young man. You, you, you know him as Stalin. I was knew it. Joseph Stalin wrote that. Oh man. And he could also sing like a lark. Wow. So. Well, I guess we were wrong about him all the way. <laughs> Basically everything you think you know about World War II is bullshit, but he'll kill you if you say it. <laughs> See what I mean? Alright. Not too many awesome revelations at the same time, but yes. We don't we don't want to rock the boat. We just want to sink it. <laughs> this is a Valentine's poem that uh, I wrote to myself. Because if I don't love me, who will? And it's called Before You Leave. What is the wind like? here as opposed to there where the bread of my body is not made every morning 
loaf of bone though it is. And from so far away, still will you feed me that meal we made of ourselves, sweet, fattening, our common blessing. Hey, how am I going to eat alone? You gathered me out of darkness, birthed a journey, barely survived, starting small, slowly, I gave you shadow, light. Our coming together came to be so much. The earth, the sun, the stars in heaven, pieces of a single piece falling towards one. Now hands of separation wait ready, willing to repossess our winnings, our losings from this slight chance. Having no slight chance at all. Near the end, there's always chance. New rain will lift the grass. So you must know, I shall not grieve before you leave again. Johnny, a lovely violin accompaniment as well. Enola May. God damn it, Johnny! Yep, Enola May. That is very much like the plane that dropped the big one, isn't it? But not really. She no. played she played better than that. She certainly did. <laughs>